This video outlines our recommendations for installing the Reed Jaws Anchor. The void former may be fixed to the side form with the support plate or the setting bolts or alternatively the magnetic void former for fixing to steel forms. Before installing the reinforcement, prepare for the void former by attaching the support plate or drilling two holes for the setting bolts. The magnetic void former attaches directly to steel side forms. Locate the perimeter bar to be under the centrally placed mesh. The mesh wires parallel to the anchor are to finish above and touching the perimeter bar. Flex the void former and assemble it to the head of the anchor. Slide the jaws anchor into place with its legs on either side of the reinforcement. Attach the void former securely to the side form with either the support plate, the setting bolt, or the magnets. Tie the leg of the anchor to the central mesh to keep the anchor legs accurately in position parallel to the casting bed. Place the shear bar into the notch on top of the anchor and tie the shear bar bridge to the anchor. Align the shear bar legs to be both horizontal and parallel to the perimeter bar. Keeping the shear bar horizontal, tie first one leg and then the other to the perimeter bar. It's important to follow the sequence for tying in the shear bar, as this will help to secure it in the correct position to achieve its working load limit. For the JAWS Ultra Anchor, install the mesh with the transverse wires underneath and with a parallel wire close to the anchor. As before, slide the JAWS Ultra into place, attach the void former to the side form and tie the anchor leg to the mesh. Install the tension bar, tying it first at the bridge keeping it tight against the back of the anchor hole and then tie each side of the bar in turn. Keep the tension bar horizontal whilst maintaining the central position of the mesh. Install the shear bar as before but slope the bridge backwards to maintain cover beneath the shear bar legs. Check that the assembly is secure, stable and ready for the concrete pour.